when I'm teaching, or in fact, practicing or learning a piece myself, I like to divide it up into sections and particularly look out for any sections that repeat. Um, we're going to look at each of these sections of the peanut bender in turn, and I've named the sections um, after some quite cool jungle themed stickers that I have. So the first section, which lasts for the first four bars that you play, um, we're going to call the banana section. So this section has got this rhythm. Ta, 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 ti, ta, ti, ta, 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 ti, ta, ti, ta. So before we play it, let's do that just on one note. I'm going to choose D. Ready, off we go. Ta, 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 ti, ta, ti, ta, 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 ti, ta, ti, ta. Once you've got that rhythm, we need to add a little tiny bit into the bowing. Um, you'll notice that on the first bar that you play and the third bar you play, we've got our up bow sign, our little V. That means our bow is going to be going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we're going to have two up bows in a row. On our open D, it's going to look like this. Off we go. Up, down. really small bows away from the heel so that we've got plenty of space we don't need to retake we can play where we are in the bow with the notes it's going to sound like this off we go <laughs>